Hi, in this video I will show you how to transform your Linux Mint Cinnamon into a Linux Mint GNOME version, which is working quite good and yeah, really makes fun for GNOME users. So I would say let's start and I open up Synaptic Package Manager. It is pre-installed on every Linux Mint machine and in the Synaptic Package Manager I open the search on the right upper corner and type in Vanilla Gnome. And then we find the Vanilla Gnome desktop and I right click this one and select Mark for installation. I select Mark here and in the end I select Apply here. So perfect. I select apply and this takes a moment. If you want to use the terminal, I put you the command for it into the video description. Then we can define the display manager. I select GDM here and select next. Now all changes are applied. I click on close and also close the synaptic package manager. After that, we reboot our computer. After a short time, our new login manager appears, which is GDM here. I select my username and before I type in my password, I select in the bottom right corner the gear and I select GNOME on Xorg. And after that, I type in my password and let us log in. You have to do this step only once. After that, we are welcomed with the setup menu. I select start setup and I can select my typing. My keyboard layout is okay in this case. I select next. I don't need any location services, so I also say next. Here I can define my online accounts if I want. I skip this in the moment and in the end I can select start using Linux Mint. And here we are at our brand new GNOME desktop. Okay, brand new is a bit too high, in the Linux Mint 21 series, you have the GNOME version. I guess it is 42.9. So yeah, we are we are at the moment on GNOME 45, I guess, but that's okay. So here we see some system program problem detected. I select cancel here. And um, yeah, I don't want this one. And here we see also updated software has been issued since <laughs> Ubuntu 21.3 was released. <laughs> Close this one. So now we have something like Linux Mint in here. You see sometimes there are some Ubuntu packages. This is because Linux Mint is using here the Ubuntu GNOME packages, but without the Ubuntu theming. So yeah, I would recommend some steps. At first, I would also open Synaptic Package Manager here and I would delete the software which comes with Cinnamon. So I select search here and select for Cinnamon. Here we have Cinnamon. I right click this one and select mark for removal. And this is okay for me. And also I select search here and search for Nemo. This is a file manager of Cinnamon. Here we have it, Nemo, and I select Mark for removal and I also select Mark here. Perfect. Now I select apply in the end. I select also apply. That takes a second. This is looking good now. I can close the Synaptic Package Manager. At a next step, I would open the web browser of my choice and open up extensions here. It's called extensions.gnome.org. And here I select click here to install browser extension. Perfect. I select continue installation. This is okay. And in the end I select add. Now I can search for app indicator. Here we have it app indicator and K status notifier item support. I select this one and select on. Then I select install. And after that we have now our app indicator support at the upper right corner. Perfect. As a next step, I head over to the search again and search for quick close. Here we have it quick close in overview and I activate this one, select install. And now if we are in activities and have opened some applications, I can middle click these with my mouse and now they are exited. So yeah, that was it for today. 
If you found this video helpful, please leave a like and subscribe to this YouTube channel and see you in the next one. Bye.